Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have done this Bollywood brown smoky eyes. Now the reason I'm saying Bollywood is because I have seen like a lot of actresses whenever they have like a photo shoot or a press meet, their go-to makeup is like a brown smoky eyes. So yeah, this is like my version of it and I have made sure that all the products that I have used are extremely affordable and easily available as well. So before we can get into the makeup look and if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it sort of whenever I upload and now let's jump right in the video. So the first product that I'm using is Love Child Masaba. This is in the flavor coffee and cake, which smells like a coffee shop. Like if you like coffee, you will love this lip balm and gives a lovely tint as well. For primer, I'm using the Nykaa Prep Me Up Face Primer. This has been like my long time go-to favorite primer, which works great on my oily, greasy skin. For foundation, I'm using the Blue Heaven Hyper Matte Foundation. This is in the shade Honey Tan 302. Now, this has SPF 25 as well. And I'm going to use the Mars Cosmetics 4-in-1 Travel Brush, the foundation side, to blend the foundation. Now, this is like a full coverage foundation, so I'm using it little at a time to blend across my face. Now, this foundation works great on my oily skin. I have done like a dedicated video on this, so if you're interested, I will link the video above. You can check it out. For concealer, I'm going in with the Inside Cosmetics hd concealer this is in the shade lnp 15 now this is a full coverage concealer and this also sets pretty quickly so you have to work a little bit fast with this concealer and this shade is like a brightening sort of a shade for my skin tone for powder i'm using the rimmel stay matte powder this is in the shade 01 transparent i'm using a powder puff to set under my eyes and whatever is left over i'm using it all across my face now this is mattifying sort of a powder which works great again on my oily skin for eyeshadow i'm going in with the elf cosmetics bite size eyeshadow palette this is in the shade truffles now i'm taking the dark brown shade and using like a concealer brush to stamp the product across my eyelids now i did not set my eyelids with any powder it has only concealer on it and this is just to ensure that the color shows up brighter on my eyelids Next up, I'm going to use this light brown shade and use it like a transition shade and apply it over and above my crease line. This is just to ensure that the eyeshadow looks well blended rather than looking very harsh. Like you can see the before and after on how it looks with a blended eyeshadow and the unblended one for kajal i'm going to be using is the maybelline colossal kajal now i'm not going to use any other eyeliner i'm not going to create a wing eyeliner or anything i'm just going to very roughly tight line my upper lash line and then i'm going to go in with this color bar brush now this is like a smudger brush and i'm going to go with this black shade from the elf bite size palette and just smudge as much as i can on my eyeliner I'm going to do the same exact process in my lower lash line as well. However, I'm going to take the dark brown shade and smoke it out as much as I can. And as you guys can see the difference how much a kajal can make. For eyebrow, I'm going to go with the Swiss Beauty Micro Precision Eyebrow Pencil. This is in the shade 02 Deep Brown. Now for the price, this is such a good eyebrow pencil. The packaging is beautiful. It feels heavy. The product is good as well. And I love the spoolie because it beautifully blends the product out. For mascara, I'm going to go with the Essence Lash Princess, the green one. Now, this is almost getting over because it is my most favorite and used mascara. And for lashes, I'm going in with the Pro Art 3D Fluffy Silk Lashes in 133. For the price, I really like these kind of lashes because look at the difference. Oh, and for the lash glow, I'm using the Pack One, and this is in the shade Black. Now to add some definition and warmth to my face, I'm going to use the Swiss Beauty's Double Trouble Duo Stick. I have used this before. I really like the formula. And this is in the shade 02 Beige Focus, which is a very neutral brown tone shade for my skin tone. For blush, I'm going in with the Miss Claire blusher in the shade 01. Now, I'm going to use the Mars Cosmetics 4-in-1 Travel Brush and I was really shocked on how good the pigmentation of this blush is. Like, I've had this for the longest time but I never used it and this was the first time and I was pleasantly surprised by it. 
For lipstick, I'm going in with the Swiss Beauties HD Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade 09 Cute Nude. And this looks so pretty with this eye makeup. And then it took me like a solid 10 to 15 minutes because I was struggling to put this Jumka on. And this is how the full makeup looks like, which I really, really love the outcome of it. However, just to add like a finishing touch, I added a black bindi as well. And yeah, this is how everything looks like. And yeah, I hope this video was helpful. So if you guys have any other request for any eyeshadow look or makeup look, then let me know on the comments down below. So yeah, this finally wraps up today's video. I really love how the makeup has turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well as much as I loved filming it. So yeah, if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to notified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will try my best for you as well as follow me on my socials with Shreyar on Instagram and Shreyar on Twitter as well. So until next time, take care. Bye. <laughs>